one. All right. Three, two, one. one. Mean Guns. Commentary, mac and cheese. This one just says selector recommendations. Yep. You bet. There, there you go. go. Yeah, perfect. Albert, I watched this at his height. I was going on. I was going on this uh, to some friends, and we sat and did a viewing party of this and watched it. This was like four years ago. Oh yeah, and yeah, it was um, a lot of people. You know, it's even though it's ninety seven, it's it's dated a little bit. And some people like I was watching it with some younger people, and they were just they they they, they weren't getting it. I had to go along how great this was. Also, you know. You build it up to be better than it maybe is. So, right. But this is uh, I love this one of all the Albert Pune's movies. This is my favorite. So there's a couple of scenes in here that just make the whole thing worthwhile. I mean, even this lead up that they're showing the aftermath, basically. Yeah. Um, and the uh, oh, and this is the director's cut. Yeah, to me, this is at his height where he's still um, able to pull big names. He's working with Ice T. He's got Lambert in this one. Um, and he, you know, he's still making movies that have a, a relatively uh, budget that's reflected in the production values that he's shooting with. This might be the last. I'd be interested to see what makes the director's cut different than the regular cut. Uh, there's about 20 cut. minutes, to be honest, in the in between 20? the two. But uh, what, whatever it is, I don't know, right? Just uh, the stuff that the, the this conversation is just stuff that the director wanted in. It's not like they're yeah. cutting huge action scenes or. Or big sex scenes or anything like that. They're just this is the way I saw it, and we're gonna have, we have to trim some stuff in order to get this down to a lean ninety, right? Yeah, and this is and this cuts running in at a little more than a lean ninety, right? This is coming in for land by air. This is coming in at about a, a buck, a um, hundred and ten minutes instead of a lean ninety, right? Yeah, which makes sense that they cut twenty minutes out of it. Um, yeah, again, this is an example of, to me, how, um, you know, these guys weren't all on set at the same time, but it's amazing how he makes it look like they're all talking to each other and interacting. Yeah, I think there's only actually one scene where they, actually, I don't even think it's one scene. I think that, uh, I think a lot of this stuff, I mean, I think uh, a lot of this, a lot of them probably never actually ever saw his tea. <laughs> no. But like uh, Tom acting. Matthews and Christopher Lambert would have to have seen each other, and uh, there'd be a few more interactions. But I think uh, I think um, Ice T's stuff was all filmed within a day or two. Yeah, well, same with Lambert's. It was a couple of days they had him, and then off he was off to something else, right? Probably Beowulf. If I think about the time, Beowulf. Yeah, that'd be a rub, rub, about right. But uh, this is uh, also uh, his most Tarantino. Uh, you know. Yes. Well, then, you I know, think that's the, what I liked about it. We're right around the time there. We're saying, okay, okay, Michael Halsley. Yeah. Don't know her. Uh, she's been in a couple, a couple of pews yeah. before. P uh, she, you'll you'll know, know her. Tom so Matthews. Love Tom Matthews. Night Living Dead or Return Living Dead. Yeah. Introduce. You mean the the movie lied? <laughs> um. Yeah, like um, I like all kinds of things about this one, and for, in the Lambert over tour, this one, this one's up in the in the higher half of it, I would say as well. Oh, let's see. Uh, IMDb gives it five point four out of ten. That's got it. That, that's good. <laughs> and another uh, long time. Pew Again, that's Turner, that's all we uh, see of Michael Halsey, by the way. On the music, uh, uh, Tony Rapperet. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, not Michael Halsey. Who the hell am I thinking of? Uh, Hoke Howell. Ah. Uh, again, it doesn't really look like a prison they're in. It more looks like a um, high school cafeteria sometimes. But, yeah, and but I mean, what what a great what a great premise, right? But if you're if you're a yeah. gangster and you can afford it, oh, I it wanted to stay in the art prison before anybody else does. No, uh, looked very similar to uh, around the same time the film in this. They're making the Rutger Hauer one blast. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not in the same facility. Um, Ice T was in that one, wasn't he? No, I don't think so. Uh, it was uh, that's uh, Lyndon Ashby. Is that the one with Michael Rapaport? No, and uh, Rutger Hauer shows up right at the end playing a First Nations individual, if you can believe that one. Oh. Uh, yeah. in a wheelchair too, but he saves the day. It's it's the diehard ripoff of the Albert Cannon for sure. Yeah, this one's a great one. I mean, it's a 90 minute gunfight for that if I'm. Okay, I don't even think 
Oh, Lyndon Ashby is that one. Andrew Divoff. Andrew Divoff uh, is actually coming to the Calgary Horicon. Oh, there we go. Like he's the bad guy. Uh, yeah, he's gonna. Be, he's the wishmaster. Nice. Yep. Okay, got it. Um, and then yeah, this one, Mean Guns. I mean, it's a ninety-minute gunfight in a prison. Pretty much. Once they get once once they once they get the criteria, once they get everybody in there, of course, they're just establishing story right now to get people all in there. But once they have them all in there, a uh, hundred people who pretty much screwed up at one point or another, and uh, rather than killing them outright, he's going to have a little bit of fun. Yeah, and I mean, for the most part, they're all you know uh, killers or uh, you know hitmen um, train. And then there's this this subplot that we're watching right now. Uh, where this one, uh, you don't know if she's a bookmaker or what the scoop is, but somehow she gets thrown into the mix too. And uh, wonders of wonders, the the magic of Hollywood. She's towards the end. She's one of the last four or five that are still standing, right? But you always wonder is that if you screwed a guy over and he invites you over to a high tech prison uh, for some sort of event, I don't know about you, but I'd be suspicious myself. Well, and it riffs on some other, uh, you know, riffs on. Um, even Mortal Kombat with Chris Michael Halsey, where they're having a let's have a tournament on an island, right? Well, but mind you, if, if everybody if everybody was suspicious, that we wouldn't have a lot of movies, would we? Yes, this is true. See, he could let him in the prison, man, rather than shooting him right there. He said, "Hey, come along with me. Yep, I got, got something fun for you." Ooh. And um, I don't believe you actually see again the magic of Hollywood, too many actual guns going off in the movie Mean Guns. There's a lot of Foley and a lot of them pointing the gun, but you never actually see any shooting, per se. You just see people... And why, and why Mean Guns, right? Yeah, well... Why not Violent Guns or Savage Guns? Why even guns? There's Tina Cote. Here. Baseball bats. Baseball bats a Kraken would be a good one. Bathead. Bull, uh, bullets yeah. and baseball bats would actually be an awesome name. Bullets for and it. bats, yeah. Bullets and bats. But uh, there's a uh, there's a lot going on here. Um, obviously, they're riffing on all every movie. Yeah, my roommate just knocked on my door. What's up? I'm just doing a just doing a live feed. Yeah, we're just doing a watch along. That's Tina Cote there in the middle. Sweet. We're watching along. Tina shows up in a bunch of Albert movies. Yeah, so does, uh, what the hell is his name? Uh, Norbert Weiser. He seems to be. Norbert Weiser. Quite a few. Yes. Movies. There's an, him and another guy that show up. Uh, you may find on, fa on, on Facebook. I just friended up with Norbert today. Did you? Yeah. Did he respond? I, oh, yeah, friend, I tried to friend up with Albert. I tried to friend up with Albert, but he hasn't friended me yet. So he's not on. He look there, he goes. Who's the hell? Who the hell's this? Who the hell's this guy? Yeah, could be. We'll figure it out. Honestly, I wouldn't blame him. Surprised to uh, see Norbert Weiser was in Schindler's List. <clears throat> so he uh, worked the gamut. Can I say that again. When Norbert Weiser was in Schindler's List, he played uh, Ralph Fiennes. Ah. Yeah. He worked, uh, worked all oh, kinds Halsey. from Albert Pounds, Albert Pune sets to Steven Spielberg sets. Oh shit, Michael Halsey died. Was that right? He never looked he never looked the guy never looked healthy, but this is true. Yeah. Again, looks somewhat like a mall. He died like he died like two he died like uh, 2017. Less so that. less so much of a prison, more like just the exterior of a mall. It's funny, you get these great supporting actors who you see and they're very distinctive and of course you love their work but you they don't make the big news right like when uh, yes. uh, uh the john t uh john ryan died uh in fact you never heard anything the same thing with richard lynch when he died nobody you didn't hear jack shit about it this is true see, i love, uh, just I love not high guys. enough into the zeitgeist i guess right mm -hmm. well setting up lambert's character again Shooting him, he's smiling, sat with smiling. Uh, Halsey he probably on the stage, smiling at because he can't nope. see. Yeah, well, and they're just looking at each other because they're not on set on the same day, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you looking at? That's Flambert and the kid pointing at nothing, right? <laughs> All right, cut to them. They're later. There. <laughs> yeah, them, here we are. Okay, do the laugh. You know, you want to do the laugh. Do the laugh. <laughs> ah, you just got a nice, relaxing ride with the corpse. Well, should have done the Tarantino trunk shot, but they went the other way. 
There, there's a laugh. There, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back to Buddy not looking Look at, at him. That face. Yeah. It's great. The magic of Hollywood. And again, why he couldn't have made it, why he couldn't have made it and had him just another character in there to get shot at, I don't know why yeah. they had to shoot him. A little bit of fortress going on where you can see, okay, they got some surveillance. They can, you know, again, it's easy for them to tie ice tea to all of this. Nice and tense shot of ice tea looking into a monitor to see nothing. Yeah. Uh, oh, here he is again. Pre, this is pre. Uh, law and order iced tea too uh yeah i believe it is he hasn't, it he hasn't saw he hasn't softened he's still pretty gangsta at this point this is true and again law uh, uh ice seed worked a couple two three times with pune um and pune directed a video or two of uh ices as well yeah there was one uh what the, was it ice tea and ice cube uh they were i don't know in a movie someone like that. that yeah and then so here's tom mass so there was a pune movie where ice the other gentleman the with the, was it? the other gentleman with Tom Matthews here, uh, people might know as the bad guy in Karate Kid 2. The guy, <laughs> the guy fighting LaRusso in, in Okinawa. That would be the best I got for you today. Uh, and then there's an inexplicable shot coming up here that you never is never she, uh, spoken to again here. Or you just how much were they gonna throw at this if they had more money? I think it's coming up right here. Or maybe I've missed seeing again. This is one with yeah. Again, director's cut. Who knows? Could have been an establishing shot. They just needed for no, something. No, it, it jumps right into the supernatural. Been in the director's cut. It jumps right into the supernatural. One of these two guys melts off for a second, and then it turns into what are they doing? Anyway, no. Well, nice we'll see it when we see it. We'll see it when we see it because it's just check-in time here. We're uh, checking into fortress, yeah. checking into the uh, into the dragon tournament. Character character intros here, establishing all the people that you hate and would like to see shot. But they're the course of the people that uh, get more or less to the end. Bags galore is what is is basically what we're doing here because we're cheering for. We're, we don't even have a bad guy to cheer for, really. I mean, when that once they get in there, it's. Who do you hate more, right? And here that's what's so Here's your bet. Here it is. Get ready for this. Look. Get ready for this. All oh, right. yes, yes, yes. Vampires. Vampires, everybody. Add fake. What, what is, yeah. And it's never touched. Don't the mess with me. I'm a vampire. He should have just let him shoot him. Yeah, I'm a vampire, man. I'm not, nothing's going to. Yeah. So. Well, definitely, it definitely establishes character. <laughs> and again, right? There's 100 criminals in the. Uh, you're gonna meet eight, of, them, of course they're the eight that are gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna let a crazy guy into the prison. Again, oh, this is the corner of the high school that looks like a prison. Let's do another scene here. Uh, pass through the cafeteria here. Bad Bob the Trader. Hey, that's some matter for you, eh? So I'm, uh, I guess that's the uh, letting them know, uh, letting the, each of them know how to sit the kids kids on them there. Nice. Like I said, a hundred gullible people. Remember that guy yeah, we you, fucked over? You're yeah. mentioning the He's inviting the us guy. over to his prison grand <laughs> Well, you're mentioning, yeah, no kidding. You're like mentioning the bad guy in this. The bad guy, the, the two bad characters are actually fucking Ice-T and then Lambert really pretty much i just that always makes me smile that's why i love i mean this is the same you get the same vibe as you would off a of friday the third or a slasher flick where they've introduced the characters the student characters and you don't like them anyway and you're rooting for the bet you're rooting for just death right i want to see what they're going to do to them so the ones that they've done a little more character work of course on rather than just being an average douchebag or a ditz uh are the guys that you're kind of cheering for and then when it gets down to that crew now your little now your loyalties are a little more split, right? And of course, this there one's all over. A, I'm, I'm uh, not a big fan. Soundtrack, yeah. all kinds of mumble on fan. this. I'm, yeah, uh, Bossa Nova. Is it, is it Mambo? Yep. Mambo Bossa Nova. I think it's Bossa all Bossa kinds of stuff. Yeah, and they, again, Nova. they just tied into the it's, it's Ice T playing it on the soundtrack in the prison, right? So they can all hear it at the same time. Do we actually get? I can't remember anymore. Do we actually get any Ice T music? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the credits on this one. Um, see, 
they're Lambert and it's not in the same room at the same time, but again, no, nope, definitely yeah, not. It look like they are. Yeah. A Kubrick uh, yeah. pan in on Ice T there. Ice T will never do better than his role in Trespass. Yes, I can't argue. Maybe with that. Yeah. you can't. You can, he will never do any better than that. So that's. Whereas Mr. Lambert does have a handful of uh, great business going on from gunmen. Yeah. To I love that. Uh, I love that Ice T is so responsible. I'll be turning it back over to the uh, city tonight. Of course, they've got his credit card and his phone, <laughs> his ID. What's well, the? You want to rent this for the night, yeah. do you? All right. Well, that's after I slaughter I ninety-seven people in here. After you say, I mean, you guys can clean it up, right? I'm not paying for no motherfucking cleanup. Well, yeah. <laughs> I think what's the prize? Like, like the grill, man. Oh. His grill's not as good as the vampire there, but uh, actually, you know, I wouldn't doubt that there is a whole other line. There could have been a whole other storyline with that uh, vampire character. Maybe they just cut the shit out of it. Oh, yeah, could be. But again, vampire, you can the kill. First time you actually see Ice like interact with any of the nutty actual. Thinks he's tough. There's the first time you see Ice actually interact with any in person with any of the other actresses or actors that are actually in this movie, right? Yeah. There's Tina Cote there for a second. Being protected by George yeah. Michaels there. Yeah. I think he might get... If you want to look cool off, and tough, right? you grow a three-day shadow and wear sunglasses. Where's this guy wearing the do-rag hat? There you go. Yeah, you mambo. Not there today. Got to him later. Yeah, he goes, yep, look at all these guys, and they're all thinking the same thing. That's the guy I screwed over. But he's such a nice guy. He's letting bygones be bygones. Oh, yeah, everything about it, right? I mean, it's like anything else. Why would John Saxon go to the end of the Dragon Tournament? You know he's going to get killed. He knows he's going to get killed. He knows he's going to get killed. Just so thinks he's going to win the prize. Anyway. So, yeah, we see Jules and Vincent in the back from there. That guy's already had a tough time. He's lost one eye. Yeah. And I'm sure that's a reference to somebody, you know, that's, you know, the Isaac Hayes character or something in Escape from New York. Or... They there wanted to make him really tough. They should have given him two eye patches. Another chance for ice to blow some wind. Okay. You got to really pay attention to this. This is like Oscar caliber stuff here. See, this is where it's all dawning on them. Like, oh, he doesn't, he didn't forget about that. Oh, that's a Land bear is going. I've won lots of prizes in all my movies. I'm good. I'm good. I think, uh, I think Land bear is kind of like, he, he's got the ace in the sleeve, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got the uh, nice. grill. Right, right now, there's a lot of people standing there who, whose asses just started sweating. Eh? Oh no! Well, in reality, I mean, there, there might be only thirty yeah. killers well, it says, in that. It prison. says a hundred, but I mean, he has a there's list 30. of about a hundred people who have screwed up at one point. There's definitely not a hundred people in there. No, it's thirty, maybe. Thirty, maybe. Yeah. Doesn't matter because when the first action scene goes down, it's. It's awesome. I'm, I'm actually stunned that nobody's ever thought of this before. I've I've never seen it in another film. <laughs> well, the uh, it's just a and and, and he get, when he's talking about entertaining, goddamn, doesn't get much more entertaining than that. It would only be more entertaining if uh, friggin' uh, Lambert like whipped out a sword instead. Wow, sheesh, there can only be one. What's well, no no? And there's the guy who's gonna get offed first. Let's step forward. You know the funny part is. Everybody in that room, other than the stars, are all stuntmen and women. Or actors that can take a fall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's exactly right, right? Lambert knows. He's not, he can't get his head cut off, so he'll be okay. Yeah. That, can you imagine they talk to that and then he gets his head cut off at the very beginning? Like, what the hell, man? And there's lightning and we're all this shit. You guys, say, <laughs> you guys say that, yeah, you guys say that this stuff is predictable. So we're trying to make an unpredictable film. Yeah, we killed him off the first 10, 15 minutes. And 
Well, you'd know if all of a sudden he was having a majorly good sword fight in the first five minutes. You go, oh my God, he's going to lose this at the end of this. <laughs> it's a, uh, yeah, um, and I mean, there's uh, all uh, kinds of, uh, again, in there. reasons for, um, you know, to cut away out of the prison. There's a subplot with Lambert and a kid who uh, you see sitting outside in, in the convertible there that really has no... He's going to conveniently wait the night, wait for pretty much an hour. And uh, Ice T does have a couple um, as he's you know he's just announcing Ooh. here. There it is. He uh, he does off a couple. See, that was mer- that, that well. was merciful. Yeah. Six hour time limit. I'm I'm surprised more people aren't looking nervous. I sure as hell would be. I see Oscar caliber business going on here. Where can I get this? Dun dun dun. Like Barato. Thanks for going to jail. Are there any other questions? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, guns, conversations about uh, pop here we go. music. Okay. Here that's the first nervous guy I saw. Like, that's the first nervous guy I saw. It looks like, oh, fuck, man. What's going to happen next? There's some stone cold killers out there, man. Word. He gets to look right at the camera, everyone falls right down the barrel every once in a while. Mm-hmm. See, the, if I was some of those, uh, if I was some of those uh, trophy women, I'd be like very nervous. Yes. I love this. She's the smartest one. She you know, it's not in these. The you know, it's not in these tubs. Makeup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love this. Uh, if I can be, I'll be right in the face. Oof. This is brilliant. <laughs> Just like, you know, I, the fact that nobody, nobody's taking cover, right? Ever, they'd all be dead. They'd all have shot each other by now. Well, oh, yeah, Lambert and the other guy just standing there. Mid- yeah, this, is, this is awesome. Squeaking. All different calibers, all different bullets. You have to find the right bullets. The easiest thing to do would be to find a shotgun and then grab a shell. And hopefully, it's not a lot of variation with shotgun shells out there, I can see. And Michael Halsey, of course, was allowed to bring the gun in. So he's he's packing his own heat. Yep. Back in his own heat, just starts shooting away. And yeah, Ice T, of course, has his own. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, that's you shoot a guy, then grab his gun. So now you have two guns. No, they came looking for him. Boom. Don't, don't put him to the glass, man. That's prison glass. Boom. And then, yeah, man, you mess around with Lambert in a long coat. Yeah. No, you get into the sorts of the guys that are running for cover, realizing that no matter you make it some impressive, cool shots off, but someone's going to shoot you in the back or the head or the dick or something like that. Otherwise, yeah, just start walking around with the bats and whacking people. I, I would honestly, I would have taken, I would have been the guy going for a bat. And then once the stupid ones that had filled it with bullets, whack them and then grab their. Uh, yeah. But yeah, strange mixed, and of course your lead actors and actresses it is. are super killers. But again, if everybody made sense, these these movies wouldn't be nearly as much fun, right? No, it's all good. The lady, boom, the budget you need, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I have this bat scene reminds me of the Trailer Park Boys when they're. Hunting for Sasquatch, Sasquatch. <laughs> oh, and of course, even the hookers got the skills out of the bills. The oh, there's phony Lambert, phony, phony, phony Lambert, dumb old, like, dumb, yeah. big walking some the stunt doubles, man. They make the world go round. Yep, that was really good. Oh. Yeah, arm bar. You, you know, the thing is, you know, you know, the sad part is there's not the ninja guy that doesn't, that's, you know, impervious to bullets and freaking uh, baseball bats that can just swing around and freaking ninja everybody. Well, you're looking at him right now. It's Lambert, Shoka, man. Shoka Sugi. Yeah. It's Lou. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was in uh, Mortal Kombat, fucker. You're in trouble. Now. Who are you? Yeah. You're nobody. I'm way up on the star list. You're literally nobody. It's a nice lighting there. I like that. Underlit. Yeah, again, I guess it just turned into night at the prison and they turned on the night lights. Yeah, it looks like some Ooh. of high school, uh, yeah, cafeteria. High school cafeteria. Cafeteria or yeah, ca classroom of some sort. I mean, definitely, definitely look definitely looks like a prison. So I mean they're gonna sell it Probably as the, the common area the in the prison, prison, right? But or the common area of the school. But, Boom. But yeah, here's an, an extra action scene for ice. That's you know, yeah. Ice tea, the whole thing is is that yeah. I, I really didn't want to get involved in this. I just wanted to watch you guys do it. See, how is he supposed to enjoy it if he's not sitting up there watching? We got to give him some action, though. Yeah, give him some action. You could have got it like a, pulled a couple of guys up there and then walk the shit out of him up in his cage. Shake that gun at him. Oh, fuck. Like, let, let the gore orgy commence. Well, and then considering the amount of death, not a lot of blood. <laughs> no. Now, even if you were to shoot this exactly, but now they're going to haunt that prison. You uh, you'd, you'd feel so much uh, special effects blood on the ground and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, another douchebag Larue is gone. So I think that's our first what we call principal actor that's off. Yeah, but everyone was hoping he would get freaking schmucked anyway. Again. It's those get those actors. You go. Oh, here we come, bitch. I'm still alive. Look at that. At le least he's going. God damn, that hurt because it. Oh, I thought he was wearing Kevlar for a second. Oh, he's got the. He got his lighter. Saved his life. Smoking saved his life. Yeah, and there's Mullet McGee. Mullet McGee. Yeah, you know anybody with a mullet doesn't live through the film. How this woman is still living, I don't know. But well, she's, yeah, that's, that's, she's that's a good thing to do. Too, right? Start screaming everyone's name. Hi, there's a target over here. <laughs> Sounds like a woman. Oh, stunt man with a wig. Yeah. Right, if you didn't know better, it's clearly almost a principal actor that, or somebody you're going to see later. But we got we got to hide his identity right now, so. Yeah, he, he's, a stunt, he's, a, he's a stuntman that they're using somewhere else, so they have yeah. to match his ID so they can use him a couple times throughout the film. Because I think that's a, that looks like a fake mustache hand fake. But Billy Bass. God damn, it's entertaining. God damn, it's entertaining. And it's, yeah, this is the giant. And this is the kind of movie that you can get away with shit like this, right? Well, this is a giant, uh, looks like uh, this is the. Um... Oh, God, that hurt. <laughs> Right in the dick. This is the laundry uh, facility of the gym, I guess. <laughs> this is where this is the yeah, I don't know, yeah, the, this is the dry cleaning part of the prison. It's just all the hangers are gone. And then just <laughs> for this shot cleaning. alone, right here. Here's the shot. All right, that is definitely a wig and a mustache. That is Doug not, nobody would ever look like that. Yeah, Doug Heading, everybody, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Doug Heading. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can do magic if they really try. Okay, there you go. And some quick oh, word. Badass. We've established these guys are buddies. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I mean, him and then they immediately have the advantage because the, the prize is going to the top. Again, and they're, they're fun. Everyone likes them. They're, they're, they're the guys that did the – in the – that's right. They've done a lot to establish who they are. They're charming and witty and urbane. It's the buddy cops of the, the buddy cops. Everyone's going to root for them. And who's coming up the oh, stairs? Okay. Effective use of lighting again, coming up yeah. from the pits of hell. Yeah, purgatory. Who Gun McGee, they call this guy. I, mean, oh, I don't well, know why they call him. We've got, him. A, we got a John Moore. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. You got two guns. The framing's going to tell you exactly what's going to happen to this guy. Yeah. Hello. Oh, nice. See, not as many bullets being used as as uh, bats. As ever. Bats are a lot, cheap. Bats are a lot guns. Yeah. 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 In a movie. Yeah. 
They're easier to fade. Buoyant bats. They could have. It was not. Doesn't have the same zing to it though. I like everybody's jewelry though. They got some nice jewelry hanging off the front. <gasps> this guy's got a knife. Ooh. Oh yeah, ice over the chest yeah. board, right? Chest board, and he's got a gun under it. I almost want to say that uh, the background there is the so wait, project. If you're gonna what's it? Uh, what's it? Uh, good, the bad. If you're gonna talk, if you're gonna talk, talk. If you're gonna shoot, shoot. If you're gonna shoot, shoot. Don't talk. Considering he's running the game, I think he's got the highest kill count in the in the piece so far. Nice. Yeah, and he and he didn't even want to. He was kind of like yeah. it's like involved. Killed the two guys on the way out. Kung Fu. The hey, man, one guy I killed this guy. And watching him. Yeah, I can't even sit and watch and appreciate this. If you guys keep fucking it up, coming after me. And he killed the warden. So for no distinct reason at all. Yeah. Uh, and what did they do with the board with the warden? Who the hell is supposed to run the prison after the guy? When you get back to Siri, he's not getting his damage deposit back. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, see, he's smart. But now all you can assume is that people have just like taken the all the all the bullets and hoarded them, right? Like came up and said, ah, and loaded their pockets. We're actually all these guys are waiting in a circle for Kristoff to walk in. Yeah. If they weren't, what a boring shot this would have been. Just they all stand up at once and shoot each other from across the way. Lambert, yeah. Up, yo, look at that. There. How in the hell are you? How, how do you get in a position where you can hang yourself? <laughs> you idiot. You deserve this like the Darwin Awards. <laughs> <laughs> guy, if you leave these guys in the prison long enough, they'll kill themselves accidentally. <laughs> Is this thing loaded? <laughs> Ooh. Were there knives? I didn't see any knives in there. Did this guy get oh that guy just had a bad day? He just ran into the wrong three. What a horseshit. The wrong three. He said knives. I love how in these movies, everybody knows how to throw a knife. And they all have enough weight in order to pierce your clothing and your skin and your usually your chest bone. Ooh, she got zinged. There's some blood right there. I see it. Yeah, a little Chinese stand up. This is the dramatic. They're creating some character tension while I got to take a piss. <laughs> oh, cut to the outside of the facility again. Well, there's the first shot of uh, what looks like, I'm going to say Austin, maybe, but could be LA. See, now this is part of that. Is that part of the subplot? Is he seeing, what is he seeing there? You see what I mean? It looked like a, um, some sort of paranormal activity going on, which of course has nothing to do with this business of prisoners and hitmen in a prison. But we watch along, we're 33 minutes in. Mean Guns, 1997, Albert Pune, a uh, fantastic um, piece of the Pune canon. Um, yeah, Perez Prado is the film composer. Well, that's better. And, uh, I didn't know if I had to use the washroom or it's just the movie getting me excited. Oh, there you go. There you go. Turns out it's a little one bit handed. of both. One-handed. This guy can't fight a guy with one hand. Oh, there he goes. You can always tell the guy with the bad mustache is always going to lose. And this guy's got another. It's probably the same actor because it looks like the same mustache as the guy they put in the dry cleaning. You're very well right. Yep. Mm -hmm. See that you're not you're not working harder. You're working smarter. Boom. How many shotgun shells did he get? 47 or 48, I think. Interesting use of the uh, of eliminating every couple shot, every every couple scenes in order to get this. I don't think the kid did this on his own. No, and uh, this it's a horror movie now. The second so, or third hallucination of uh, of uh, Lou there, Lambert's character. Yeah. He, Looked like he hallucinated some demons on the roof there for a second earlier. This guy, this I would keep thinking this guy is Andrew Divoff. How do we, know we don't. And of course, in order to be a, a really terrible bad guy or really good bad guy, you have to have a British accent. That's right. They're really, they're really evil. The devil has a British accent. Oh. 
guys are left. Yeah, you'd think you'd be getting... And that's the kill count. There's only 30 people in that one scene, but there's another 60 or 70 hanging around the prison. You well, I always thought this would be a good movie where you could literally, if you were going to do it, because you, you could count, even in the edit, how many you're killing. You could just have... True, them, but I mean, how many of them right have been the knocked unconscious, get back up, or were just wounded, or whatever? Well, that's but that's to keep it interesting, where all of a sudden you're at 30... You to keep it interesting. Other than that, three and a half. if they killed everybody off and they walked around the prison for the next five hours, it would be kind of dull. Yes. Got to spice it up. And one thing you can say about Albert is he likes to spice things up, makes it interesting. This guy's an idiot. Well, he's a former idiot. <laughs> just what kind of thing was that? Right? Like, just. They got to eat up some time, right? That was almost a one, two minutes. Here's Chris Lee. He's going to jump muscle up with a dead body here. A little bit of quality time. It's a kick ass ring he's got, though. Well, it's a scoop. He's got a, a garret around the guy's neck or something there. I don't know. He's having some non flashbacks, I think. Oh, a little bit of effective light off his eye there. Oh, using the filter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, garroting. You know, after I garrot a body, I like to nestle down with it for a few minutes and really reflect on that man's life. So is the idea that you killed this kid? Is that the... How the hell? Haunting Lou? He was smart enough to get his, I don't know, if he had a piano there or he brought his own garrot with him. Oh, right. Hell, did you make it out of the prison already? Somebody, Bob, did you leave the door open again? <laughs> yeah, like, there it is. Made it out, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's the escape. You left the door open, you idiot. There's another guy you can add to the fuel. He fucked up. You have to shoot him. And Lambert made it out, too. Just like that. Yeah, he did. Just, here's the door. Oh, here it is open. The end. Well, no, I mean, the, the, the name of the game isn't to escape. It's we went through dry cut cleaning to the cafeteria. Jesus, everybody's coming out. In the indoor golf course. There's a little kid in here. Boy, they were sure able to collect a lot of bullets. And the soundtrack followed them out, too, which is nice. Everyone wins there. But yeah, half the Lambert scenes in this movie have to be with this kid. I cannot believe she's still alive. She's obviously has a great rider in her contract. Oh. I cannot load a gun. Nobody's made a move in that chess game. He's been sitting there for days. <laughs> oh, right in the face. Right in that bad mustache. Take his gun. Take his gun. Looks like it. Nice. It's amazing how I want. I want to see Ice T go. Does anybody? Does anybody know how to play this game? I was just like, does anybody see? She must. Good. She must see. How is the footage exactly like the camera that we got in front of her? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the last survivor gets to play me in a game of chess or show me how to play this game is that what this is <laughs> is that what this is play me in this game of backgammon here let's shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta play me in this game of connect four <laughs> I already won they're all lined up here you know, thank you but yeah, you got to think, okay, we're getting, down to, we're getting down to principal actors here. This is where the real drama begins. The well-rounded characters, the well, the better rounded they are, the more we care. Well, we're only really... We hate, yeah, the more we care. Less than halfway through the movie, but that's where you realize... Yeah. All the guys with must you've noticed all the guys with mustaches have been killed, right? Yeah. Their right. mustache budget must have been huge for this one. But yeah, when you think about it, we're down to but you know what? So again, bring our guys all together. Guys are little, our, our little plot devices are, or just a little bit of entertainment because you know there's no possible way they're living. You know, I never even introduced some of these characters. You think he's going to make it to the end? You don't have a chance. Well, no, it's just a matter of who makes it between Halsey, Lambert, and Ice T, right? Pretty much. This guy's making a break for it. Yeah. 
He, there was only three other dead bodies out there to indicate to him that there's a sniper on the roof. So he pretty much deserved to die. You idiot. Uh, like I said, you left him alone in there long enough with a gun, he would have killed himself anyway. But there it is, right? Cut to a window. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they are. There's a sniper out there, just so you know. Oh, and again, he's for 40 minutes. Oh, he's doing two with my wife. Frame. I truly hate this man. They have some, we're talking over it actually. Uh, they have some good little back and forths. I did, I did enjoy. They have a long history, those two. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Mm. Chocolate. But yeah, middle of this movie, it's just kind of a it turns into a bit of a hangout because they, they stop killing each other for a good portion here. They're out of bullets. <laughs> out of plot. They're down to they're down to lawn darts now. Mm -hmm. I love his voice. Oh yeah, no. Underrated actor. How old is Lambert now? You know what I mean? It's mid 60s. 70 something. Yeah. Marcus. Honestly, Lambert could have just shot her and then gone around to shoot him. Yep. But then again, we wouldn't have this scene. No, it's just another that again. That right? lady's holding an empty gun. Long Chinese standoff here is what we got. I just gave her something to make her feel important, but have you one of us put fire on the place? Oh, and of course Lambert now has got an awesome gun. Definitely one of the most more distinct voices in Hollywood. Oh, for sure. Or the Lower East Side, where he resides now. West Said. And he hasn't even taken her gun away. <laughs> her gun is still sticking out of the side of her. He's the Highlander man. I know. Highlander six. Hope so. Yeah, what are we, you know, Chinese standoff here for coming up on five minutes. And then you turned your back to her. This woman just like praying for her fucking survival. She doesn't care who dies. Yeah. She could have shot him in the back. And <laughs> okay, I'm good. I hate you so much. Now they all shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> again, right? Mm -hmm. But then again. What are they going to do with the four of them at the end, right? Do they all make it? So I'll sit down for some prison grub. Well, I mean, other than, you know, who's left, right? Tom Matthews and his... Tom SP. Matthews and his buddy and Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Karate Kid 2. Oh, this guy's had enough time to smoke a cigar while he's been hanging out there. He hasn't lost that. That's good. Ah, here we go. Hasn't worried about taking off his sunglasses either. For you didn't kill him. Uh oh. There's a sniper on the roof. Yeah, what a great bad guy. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep talking again. I know we're talking Sorry, about getting caught up, caught up in the caught up in the dramatic tension being built here. Oh no, it's just them, right? Agenda. They're still talking. They're still talking, right? Yeah, and they're all holding their guns like they're going to use them. Yeah, she knows how to carry her gun now. 
That's his Viagra. I got these pills. I got these blue pills. <laughs> Doctor. Uh, I'll show you a sport you flight. Flight. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, you know, again, they kind of forgo the whole who gets the money, where's the money. Well, at least they're going to reward yeah, one of them. I'd say, you're, you're, um, fuck your money. You know, I'll let you leave here with your life. Life, life. Stand, stand up, fight, fight. When it starts getting in smaller and starts going eyes, you know, eyes, eyes, uh, then you know something big's going down. Right. Getting in the good and the bad, the ugly stare downs. Yeah. Getting the good and the bad and the ugly. You're getting into classic uh, Sergio Leone. Yes. Yes. She hasn't even nursed her. She doesn't even know she's been shot. <laughs> but she's like, it's just. I wouldn't. Oh, that, that's from the prison cafeteria. I got uh, blueberry puree. This is a hell of a prison. I'm going to walk behind him. Dry him dry blueberry puree. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. He shot Christopher Lambert in the back of the head. Roll credits. Me. Damn. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. This was the director's cut, actually. It was shorter, a lot shorter. We wanted to end it there, but uh, really tested poorly with audiences. Potent vision. Yeah. Vestron wouldn't even pick it up. <laughs> I mean, in their defense, it was only it was, I think, 50 I minutes long. <laughs> Uh, the, the old the old lumber's getting soft. I better take a few of those. Keep me going. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm going to be so hard in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to be like six and a half feet tall. You know, I'm going to take a round out of both these. <laughs> I'll, better, I'll kill him with my sword. My sword. <laughs> so, these guys are blissfully unaware that there's a sniper up there. Obviously, the sniper goes, Oh, those are main characters. It's like the people uh, in that a skyscraper across the way go, Man, it looks like some, something going on. Yeah, there's something <laughs> fucked up going across the street. <laughs> I think we should call someone. <laughs> looks like the prison's open already, but it's not supposed to be open to tomorrow. I know. <laughs> the guy fired at people on the roof. Is that normal in a prison? Yeah, it looks like they got things under control. I see the back doors open <laughs> though, but uh... they're trying to count them all. You can what? You're to count, oh, they're doing the count off between two who got more. Oh, yeah, but nobody counts the melee at the very beginning when they dump everything because that would be uh, what a lame way to die. He said, oh, you know, all the primaries didn't make it out of that scene. We don't have a movie. I mean, that'd be a neat way to advertise a movie where you've got all these stars, expendable level things, and they all get bumped off in the melee at the beginning, right? It'd be like it'd be like the first uh, first uh, couple episodes of Tour of Duty when you didn't know who the hell the stars were going to be and if they could replace them. Yeah, that's what the movie's missing. Terrence Knox. <gasps> You're nobody, dude. You know you're gonna you're not gonna make it up. He's in the kitchen again. That was a Hobart he just whacked her head on. <laughs> this is the central data processing thing, the prison. Yeah. Those are all ice machines for the cabaret that they have. <gasps> it. Yeah, take that stiletto and fucking put it through his eye socket. What the hell part of the prison is this? Well, okay, it was the kitchen. Fighting in the cafeteria, but I don't know where Blondie and then Lambert are walking around. I think that's probably the thing that he put all the serving trays in. I don't think he scooped it up. This guy, who wears their sunglasses indoors, really? As serious <laughs> killer. I can't now, see how this guy coming. make it this far. I don't know. He'd be like me. I just go fucking hide for six hours. 
Ooh, there we go. Good thing he didn't take that Viagra. Oh. Valium, Prozac, and Ritalin. And it tastes great. And look, he's just letting her do it. I'd be clawing her fucking eyes out. Into the oven with you. Oh, oh. She's one tough chick if she could take the... Kill people. Strange. Yeah, government. It's seen because none of the other characters are walking around. This girl is looking pretty kind of damn terrible good. at all. yourself in the face. That's good. Yeah, I love it. All right, there was a good cutaway. This guy. This guy is fucking. Uh, the. She's either a stone cold killer or this guy just sucks. There he is. Sucks. But yeah. You suck. Oh, here we go. Here we got it. We got another good point with a bunch of uh, no names. Oh, the one guy with the eye patch. We've All these guys have been hiding for the last 25 minutes. We haven't seen Because they're smart. Yeah. Hey, dickheads. Ah, using sex. Because when you're fighting for your life, the very first thing that's on your mind is sex. Hey, I'm going to put my gun down. You must think we're that other guy taking them boner pills. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that I got the Viagra. She's mine. Oh, little John Woo here. There we go. Do, do, do. As everyone, he's terribly accurate with two guns. And I got, a, there's a whole garbage pail full of uh, bullets over here. So I can fire as much as I Look want. This. Nutty fun. Oh, French fried, right in the deep fryer. Got to shoot this guy in the other eye. That, bullets do that to people. What's he going to say? What's his quick? Take his gun. You let him give it up? Mm. <laughs> Just rubber bullets they're using. Man, I give it credit if you can fucking run in heels. There's the first wounded guy we've seen. They're wounded. Oh, okay. It's kind of like the old movies. They said they cut your throat, you're instantly dead. They shoot you, you're instantly dead. Dead. It's just like that. I like that. And it's always either the major good guy or the major bad guy that wears the trench coat. Yeah, that's pretty damn realistic, though. That's what it probably should be. A lot of people fucking screaming. And go, oh, my God, he broke my fucking arm. <laughs> Two hours of screaming because nobody's really dead. <laughs> screaming agony. Uh, uh, it's a little more dour than we were hoping for the feel of the film. Called mean guns. Or meaner guns. Oh. Oh, oh what's she gonna do now? Oh, don't waste a bullet. Yep, yeah, break his neck. Put him out of his misery. You guys are spending a lot of time in the kitchen. That is a big fucking kitchen. Meat thaw. Meat thaw. This is where we put the meat thought. Yeah, obviously you haven't moved the meat in. This is the meat. What's ever left over they get to put in the cooler. You feed that to the prison prisoners. Feed to the vampires. Oh, oh my God, it's Dennis Rodman. Why are you letting him, him, him live? Like, where are they here in the prison? Like, what is this, the ice machine area? Yeah. Shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the other eye. What is this? No, there's no meat in there. I need something to go with these boner pills. They're starting to back up on me. 
Just acid reflux, you know. God, he's got great angles in his face. A lot the of lighting, love. A lot of lamb bear walking around the facility. Yeah. We need a whole day shoot of him just walking around the facility looking laissez-faire. Nope, nope, no meat in here either. <laughs> Obviously, vegetarian prison. There's the super. Ah. Here's all our beer vats. And how the hell, this restricted area, how the hell did they get to that? Oh, oh nice. Surprised she just shoot him. Shoot her. I thought I told you. <laughs> uh, I've only got six million bullets left. Better, better pick my targets wisely. There's got to at least be another 12 million guys in this prison. <gasps> See, this guy made it. Old hairy ham head. <laughs> oh. Better go into cooler number 12. Yeah, and scream before you do it. That won't give you away at all. I love the music soundtrack, though. Looks like her hair has significantly changed, too. Mm -hmm. It's lost the perm. Lost the wave gets. Oh, now they're in the visitor visiting. They're in the visitor services or wherever the hell it is, visiting area. Yep. Tom, Tom Matthews is. <sighs> Meanwhile, the blondes. Don't do that. Don't do that. Guy is still alive on the ground. Oh, no, not again. Did he get her? This is an important plot. Somebody put that man out of his misery. Yeah, it's like, oh. He's a real sick weirdo. Come on, kill her. Kill her, kill her. Another variation of the Chinese standoff. Mm -hmm. Don't make me kill him. I'm a good person. I only ruin people's lives. There you go. He does have a heart. And to die. Yeah. That's the guy you want to root for right there. There can be only one. And it can't be Miss L'Oreal there, so... Or Ann Archer there. No. They couldn't get Stephen Ray for the pearl, so they got Mike Halsey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like this whole sequence is probably something that could have been excised out of the. Maybe this is all new. No, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. No, I haven't found anything that I don't remember so far. 20 minutes. Uh, shoots her. God, that would be great. That would be great. Got the safety on stupid. No, that chess game's going well. Debating his first move still. Could be playing postal yeah, chess. Huh? 
But yeah, trespass, that'd agree. Certainly the highlight of this is this is an important team. story. Yeah. Goldilocks said. Uh, it all becomes so clear now. Lots of synopsis. See, Ice T Ice T even agrees. You got no idea what he's agreeing to because most surveillance cameras you can't hear anything on. So. Thank God they decided to stand right in front of this goddamn mobile surveillance camera and yep. see it for this conversation. Nice framing. It looks it looks like there was a DP on set. No, we'll use you. I'm lost. Of course you are. <laughs> 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 Got some good zingers in here. Of course you are. You're stupid. Oh yeah, and it's not in the warden's office. That's for sure. I'm the picture of Rita Hayworth. Yeah, here we are. We we can't even make it out of this fucking kitchen. It's the biggest kitchen. That's not true. I've been outside into the car. <laughs> yeah, I would have. I, I would have fucked off in the vehicle. I've driven around a little bit. Wait for that sniper to pick me. Sniper off. on the roof there. Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't kicked. The, hasn't killed the kid. Got a heart. That sniper deserves more screen time. There's a story there. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a, a few lulls. I love the action in it. What happened to Tom Matthews? Yeah, they don't spend enough time with him. Once they do, they get into a big chunk when they've discovered the other girl. Oh, there we go. Uh, gonna give herself to the entire gang. Do you feel like you're being followed? Yes. How in the hell did this close up camera <laughs> get so close to it? And before they turn it's, around, there's a camera. Where the hell's the right surveillance there. camera set up? There's a camera it's guy the, right there. <laughs> it's a, some camera guy. <laughs> ah, it's the mobile camel system. It's actually camera be better system. if they turned and they just they couldn't <laughs> the they, buy they a camera on a tripod. Get, get that fucking camera to my face. Was that tripod there a minute ago? I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't know. This prison has everything, though. It's state of the art. State of the art, man. Yeah. Like the George Jetson prison. Why did we just keep oh, all these yeah, prisoners in here? Dead. Since, since they walked in here, why didn't we just keep them in here instead of killing them all? I hear something. Coming from inside the, the next Hobart. half hour, if they spend fifty dollars, get a bag of hard candy. Hard candy free. <laughs> there she is. Here's a girlfriend. Like, honestly, how did she not hear those two chuckleheads? No, they put it up there, and why would she give herself up? Because I don't think she's wearing lipstick anymore. Oh, well, they're dead. Please don't kill me. Mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa. They're all just stunned that she made it this far. How the hell did you make it this long? Oh, no kidding. Because, yeah, yeah, all of her makeup's gone. This is the right. other guys must have rubbed that off. Oh, the sweat. Yeah. Can I have a gun? 
You hear? Yeah, you can. There's both barrels. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> you like your teeth? Can I have a gun? Sure you can. <laughs> Not sure whether she's terrified or aroused. I'd say terrified. I'd say aroused. Uh -oh. Nice, 10 million. Starting to get a bit hummy smelling around here. Oh, at least A, they're reloading. I like that. That would that'd be something that I would insist that we have a reloading scene because there's no way anybody could have got enough bullets in that. Oh, for sure. So that's smart. That's as smart. Just plug it in the computer. Everyone's got to have a little sit, sit down, a little bit of a relax. Bring all the principles back. Here we go. Let's for the for the final. Uh, she's gonna ruin things. For those of you who haven't seen this movie, you can pretty much predict what's gonna happen in this scenario. Smart. Ah, now she is wearing makeup. And let's make soup. There can only be one. This is like Highlander, man. He ain't going to divvy it up. And Ice T will definitely not. In fact, he's hoping legions are made. So that would be the part that I would want to watch if I was a sick uh, puppet master. All these legions is made, only say, hey, man, there can only be one. Three. In fact, I would say I would probably save that towards the end, just after the allegiances, so they would form them, just to say. Mm -hmm. Now, only one of you walks out with it. You decide who. <laughs> These garbage can. We have two garbage cans. One ping pong balls. The other one. <laughs> the other one is C four. You can't help us. You're pretty much useless. You don't even have a gun. Yeah, she dumped off the. She killed the first guy really early, and then I don't know what yeah. else done with a bat. Yeah, and she didn't take his gun uh, after she killed him with a bat. So, oh, she did have a gun, but then she killed that other guy, or they killed him, and he didn't take his gun either. Yeah, now would be the time to load guns. This is your Christopher Lambert, and too damn cool to do it. I, he's got a, he's got a PA to do that for him. That's right. Yeah, this movie's twenty five years old, man. Oh my god. Yeah, ninety seven. Did you say something with your smart mouth? I said that you're an idiot. Stimpy. Well, look at that guy died creatively. Look at that guy. Yeah. His arms aren't even all the way down. The hanged man. Yeah, the hanged man. He, he must have been doing something fucking spectacular to get him in that position. Much like I get down now, all the blood's running to my head. Well, much like the guy that Lambert killed hanging up on the roof. Oh, easy top here. Oh. I think my phone's ringing one second here. Yeah. This is intense. Okay. We got some new characters in here the men in black. 
that are pretty much good as dead because like they're nobody. Yeah. Good thing he got himself up there. They must have heard that. Hangy down guy. I mean, what are they still kicking around here? Ten people? We got to get down to three at least. Oh. Well, even if it's three, there's four of them. So it's four of them and Tom and Tina Cote and oh yeah, but they're gonna they're gonna wipe each other out there. But I mean, if this was a collective group of three p four people that were fighting to survive, one of them outright has to has to die. That's right. Remember the first one, D? So much talking. There is this contemplative building up for something. You got to have, keep developing these characters. Mm -hmm. Considering she got roped into it, she's doing pretty good. Yeah, she's a, she's a bookmaker. I can't even remember anymore. Some more thoughtful words from Christopher Lambert. Again, variation on the most dangerous game. Ice-T has been in as well. Here's his development there. This is what he's going through, his personal hell. Yeah, but rather yeah, than one man Lambert one on man. the... Uh, it's a bunch movie. of men hunting each other. Lambert worked on the movie for two days. Yep. Now, this is some very important stuff. So everybody pay attention. Flashback. Flashbacks in red. This must have happened rather recently because he looks the exact same. Symbolism. While he was, <laughs> while he was zoned out, they shot him. <laughs> the whole movies take place in his head. <laughs> uh, so every time somebody comes up from downstairs, it's always in red. Purgatory. Purgatory, hell. It's the less mean guns. Well, little kids, little girls. Ooh. Read that card. Why hasn't everybody read the card about all the mean things that he said about him? Here we go. Kiss your pants. Well, you can drop them anywhere and not think anybody's going to complain. I'm going to go right here. He's honest. I like that. What a terrible place to die. I was shot on the shitter. He was the main character. Two factions left. And ice tea. The lock and loaded. Now they just have to find each other. Smart. Is that the George Michael character. Oh, here we go. We got the, the zoom shot. 
crack back. Get the My legs are asleep. I got to get up. Coming in focus. Everyone's getting ready. I've been looking around to see if there's any like really cool like, machine guns or anything that came with that stuff. Look to be just shot, sword. Guns shot, yeah, just shot guns, yeah. Talon's sword. That would have been awesome, actually. A little throwback to drop that in there when they dump the garbage pails. Yeah. What? And then where do these? Here comes George Tom Savini and then the gang. Where the, where the hell have these guys been? Where have you guys been? We came into the open door in the back. Loading. I heard about the prize. Oh, okay. Rather than she's gonna take that little derringer and hold on to it. No kick on that shotgun. The fucking sternum would be very sore. Those are terrible shots. <laughs> And they all look the same. And they all wear sunglasses. Take the fucking sunglasses off. You'd shoot, you'd hit things. Oh, we're getting the side. Side gun. That's a kill shot. That's a kill shot. Gangster. Up the stairs. Let's see. John, that hold. Pune goes up the stairs. 100 shots. Oh, oh, you had your chance and you blew it. I'm so glad they put so many people in this. We watched them get wasted. It's the most fun part of it. Because the dreadlock guy, I didn't even see in the uh, no, opening part. But good thing he's wearing sunglasses, though. It's, it's bright inside that prison. That's how you know he's supposed to be there. Yeah. If you're if you're a if you're a bad guy piece of shit, you all wear sunglasses indoors. Oh, right in the back. That wasn't very sporting. Oh, she hasn't even taken out one yet. Halsey's like taking out nine. Who's this guy now? <coughs> this is Michael J. White. Michael J. White. Yeah. Body double. Why conserve ammo? All in the name of the show. Oh. Ooh. Nice throw. Good in the end. Good musical. Uh, good use of music there. This guy's still kicking around. Mm -hmm. And she's found a lot of ammo somewhere. Not where the ammo was dumped, but... Well, the idea is that all the ammo, Goodbye. all the guns are the stuff that the, they pulled out of the people on the way in. Bob. Bob's an asshole. Oh, they didn't get Bob. He jumped up. Uh, empty, empty elevator. Yeah. He killed Bob. Not Bob. There it is. He is John Wusha. Hi, Bob. That was Bob. You're out of ammo again. Just start throwing shells at people. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, it's been a good show. It's been a good show. Ice has gotten his money worth. Yeah. Oh, she got hit in the head. Shit. She's going to be his butt big blob of pulped by the end of it. Did you, did you get hit again? Yeah, something hit me in the head. Superficial. You killed Bob. No, we already killed Bob. Protect me from him. I miss Bob. Oh, no, Bob's. They didn't hear that, of course. That was subtle. 
Because it was filmed in an actual prison in, in LA. Oh. <laughs> play dead, man. Play dead. When they say goodbye. But who's sticking who's still kicking around for this? For the big finale, you know? How's he's playing? A hundred, hundred assassins, a thousand weapons, ten thousand dollars, ten million dollars. Can anyone survive? Like it's rated R for nonstop violence. <laughs> Christopher Lambert only worked on the film for two days. He was scheduled for three in prior commitments, so he could only do two. A pretty good wage for only being on set for two days. Yeah, two million dollars for his work on the film, though he was originally offered two point five for this and another film that Pew never got around to making. So he banked. Uh, oh, first, a back to Mad movie with both for both. Oh, he worked on Post Mortem together with uh, Charlie Sheen. That was a good movie, actually. I enjoyed that. Love that. that was another. That was another high point for him. Oh, middle outside. Watch out for that sniper. Watch out for that sniper. Oh, I can't see. God damn snitch. Oh. Rare lamb bear smoke. So you'll, you'll have to ask uh, Pune uh, why he nearly collapsed during the filming of this. From the stellar performances. Okay. Oh, nice. Another Very fake mustache. Man. Yeah. One of the Beastie Boys. Yeah, how the fuck did you make it this far? Where were you hiding? Tell me. So, at least he's not wearing sunglasses. She's even wearing sunglasses. Got my keys. This guy's a that guy's a genius. Another. Yeah. All good. Boom. So everybody who's interacted with the girl, Lambert has, he has now. He has. Lucy is not Lou's daughter. She was taken by Lou from a pedophile as told in a longer version's flashback. So that flashback was longer. Lucy also forms a bond with Marcus very quickly and asks him to kill him since he was a creep. Yeah, the least you could do. This one shot in anamorphic widescreen. You can't really tell from here. <laughs> Fun fear, they give you that real theater. So this must have been one that he intended to go to uh, the actual theaters to, because you would, you would never really get much of a showcase on that, much use of it at home video. I mean, they put it yeah. on there and they pitch it like that, but. This is true. Oh, here they're in the shower rooms. I think they need to go back and spend more time in the kitchen though. Uh, tensions are starting to rise here.
Tom Matthews is so cool. I wish he'd been used more in movies. <laughs> We're talking about he's used in everything. I never hardly seen hardly anything good. One of the Jasons. He's in all those Return of the Living Dead. His Return of those Living Dead. Yeah. Two movies: Return of the Living Dead and Return of the Living Dead Two. He's been in a bunch of Alberts for sure. He's in Down Twisted. Let's take a check. See what else Tom's done. Definitely not big budget stuff, which I think he's deserving of. Ah, oh, fuck. Please, and uh, Fucking crest. There you go. Oh boy. Dirty dozen. The deadly mission. I saw that. I, that must have been when I was too young to know who that was. Never hike alone. Three. Jason takes Crystal Lake. Video short. Never hike alone. Four. Oh, he plays Tommy Jarvis in those, which is what he did in the. That's pretty cool, actually. Crazy six. That would have been sound like something Pune would have done. Is it? Yep. It is too. You got to direct Rob Lowe and Burt Reynolds and Mario Van Peebles, Vanna Melkovic, Norbert Weiser, Max Van Peebles. I think he's friends with George Clooney. With who? George Clooney. Oh. He's been in a couple of Clooney's. Oh, yeah, Tom Matthews has been in quite a few of uh, Albert's stuff. He was in Peacemaker in 97. That was like a big crossover, big movie. Oh, yeah, no, he's, Tom been almost, and... he's almost exclusively to uh, Pune there for a while. She's got the bros pointing the guns at each other. That only took an hour. He was uncredited in The Woman in Red with Gene Wilder and Kelly LeBrock. Mm. Anyway, cool guy. Need to be using bigger stuff. Don't miss him in the upcoming Jamming Dead and Final Summer. Ah. Uh-huh. Yellow bellied sap sucker. Them's fighting words. Are those doves of peace on his shirt. Jump up with that little heater. Bum, 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 bum. This is getting tense in the showers. It's not the first time that's been said. Yeah, uh, it's the um, San Nikita type look. Yep. For her. She was playing them all along. I like this part. I got ten million dollars. <laughs> Uh, Huge explosion. Yeah. How did her hair? <laughs> like it's just the whole thing, right? How it didn't do more damage to her. <laughs> All right. Getting down to it now. Sit here and don't look at anybody. 
Well, just how did the kid get into the prison? I love it. Hanging by your head. Mmm, smells like chicken. Well, that is nice. Okay. Promise me you won't look at anything. Looks like she bit off more than she could chew. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. You're a good kill. Tell you what, I'll kill you last. No business being in the final three or four, but here we are. All right, this definitely isn't. Do something fun. See, you're not you're not supposed to be showing the lighthearted side of that guy. That guy's supposed to be a monster. You got the little bit of blood right in the corner of her mouth. I wish you'd wipe that away. It's a special effect for the day. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Getting close to the end, you figured I remembered all this stuff. I've seen this a couple of times and I just can't. I know I how forgot, it ends. Yeah. I forgot how they uh how much they left the actual prison before the end of the movie. I think they did it within the first 20 minutes, but uh that one guy climbed up there and then got shot. Because he didn't catch on. There's a bunch of other dead bodies living in the ground. Oh, just the principles. I didn't realize everybody was leaving the, you know, all four of the leads. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Come back, right? Like my teeth. Having a good time, little girl. Classic pion. Having a good time. Action is the only thing that gives you the indication that, you know, oh, yeah, that's a nice tea like actor there. Yeah. That's quite the grill platinum. Like I'm not really. And she's gone back in. She's going back in. Who can resist the lure of ten million dollars? Nobody it tells you. Yes. That's why she was cooking the books in the first place. Yeah, bookmaker. Uh uh. I'm not going to say that again. Well, then what do you want? And I'm weak. I don't know. Where's the trigger? Where's the trigger? You give me the whip, I give you the idol. No time to argue. Uh, it all becomes so clear now. Well, yeah. just if I had the sound, of, ooh, that looks fourth amazing. act plot points. This is my picture collection. Do you like it? This is my evidence. What I had. This is me Turkey. in the Sahara. This is me on the Amazon. The Amazon. You think they would have? I'm the one on top of the horse. They would have taken this firm at the check-in since that's yeah, no, that's that's a private shot. You shouldn't look at that one. Yeah. This is me and Christopher Lambert after shooting. He was only, he was only on set for two days. You know, we were in the we were in the commissary and thought we'd take a selfie together. Who the hell has real pictures now? Well, it's 1997. Yeah. It's true. Pictures of murder. The sequel to Mean Guns. Pictures of murder. Pictures of Bullets and bats. Meaner guns. That's right. Meaner guns. Got the prison back and it's been cleaned the next four hours. It'll just be from the janitor's point of view. Fuck. <laughs> I got to do this. <laughs> Clean this shit up. Mean guns, too. Bats. Meaner guns. Yeah. Uh, janitor's person. He lives. Nice. Kind of keeping count. Steak of the game if he's the one who lives. Great 
great voice. Oh yeah, great character actor. Is it the angles in his face? Mm. Too bad he didn't live for terribly long. I'm always shocked when people don't make it into their eighties. I was watching one today. It came with the hell is it? it must say, I said Peter Fonda. It was nineteen. Uh, was it nineteen seven or seventeen twenty seventeen or twenty nineteen? Yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure Peter Fonda died then. And yeah, that's when it was released. But it's his. It's his very last film. Oh yeah. Like seventy nine years old. He's playing a non vet. I watched one of his where he plays a truck driver about a week ago. Oh yeah. Looks like a Canadian jobby. Oh, Canadian jobby, eh? Uli's gold. Um, some with Helen Shaver. It wasn't bad. No, it was the height of your trucking movies in the late 70s, right? Oh, okay. Canadian, Canada's version of Convoy. Canada's version of Convoy. Mange ma briefs. Back outside, talk to the kid. Yeah. I want to say, okay, Christian Lambert's in 101 things. Holy shit. I didn't see him in ages. He's got a ton of things. Oh, what's he been in lately that I've seen? Well, he did four episodes of Blacklist. Yeah. He was in Kickbox Retaliation. Yeah, that could be the last thing major I saw him in. Uh, video game stuff. Um, yeah, wow. The Creeps, Save the Last Bullet, It's Not Over, Dirty Cash, Someone Dies Tonight, The Wizard Hunter, The Hunt for Evangelion Crowley. He's got another one coming up, 20, Dark Room for 2023. Oh, nice. He's legally blind, right? He's got myopic or... Yeah. Um, or myopia. I always thought that he, 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 let, unless something really happened or he had to be pretty stationary, you wouldn't see him very much anymore. God, he's got to be old enough to retire. But yeah, you can see it where a lot of times, like with the gun stuff, he's not even in this movie. He, you can't, you can tell he's not aiming at anything. He doesn't need to. You can't see. Well, he's only well, he's in this. Hail Caesar. But he was in Hail Caesar with the Coens. That was his last big. He's 60, 65. Yep. You retire this year. Tom Matthews is just one year older than him. he's 64. One year younger than I'm sorry. And then, yeah, he was in that second Ghost Rider oh. de decade back. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking back like not even five years here. Mambo, mambo. But now we're down to it, right? The last. Now we're down to it. Okay, Hail Caesar 2016. Here we go. Another, you know, Tarantino all over the place. Another Chinese standoff. Yep. He doesn't even look sore. I love all this thing. We're all good. It's another day. Only have them two days, so fight as much, get as much as you can. It's interesting when you have all this stuff because very rarely do they give them all the do they give them all the scripts at once, right? Yeah. They give them whatever their day, whatever their day shoot is, and say this is what you need. Here's the scenes we need you for. Fuck, they must have had that sixteen hour day. Is easy. Well, I don't yeah. think they're all. I don't think they're for all. Days, the only having two. I don't think they're all in the same room at the same time here. No, I don't think so either. In fact, I'd, I'd frankly be very surprised. It'd be an expensive day. Good catch. Yeah. Trust him. Yeah, none of your guns are loaded. 
Or well, blow your dicks they'd, off. They'd be able to tell. I didn't hear a shot iced tea. I didn't play by the rules. Nobody else did. That's right. I feel like everybody wants. We just unload on this. Yeah, I didn't even want to be here. I'm not even supposed to be here. here today. Here we go. Now we got the Mexican standoff music. A bit of, but eventually, you know, our pony. Stunt, they're going to cut the stunt doubles because these guys won't be, you know, they're all over together. Ice Cube got the cross on just in case they pulled the vampire the plot out. Down. See, that would be good. You know, you have the whole vampire thing if that was an upside down cross, right? Satanic yeah. cross. Does he still have his metal teeth? No, who had those? I think they killed one of the freaks that had them. Like he was such Ice a small. Ice T had them. No, it wasn't Ice T that had them. Yeah, yeah, man, he did at the very beginning because he has yeah. his because he's got his grill. That's what I mean, metal teeth. But he, does he still have them in? His grill? Oh, yeah, he's had that in the entire time. I didn't think that was Ice-T that had the vampire fangs. No, I'm talking the metal different. teeth. It doesn't look like he's got them oh, in. metal teeth. Yeah, he's got his titanium teeth in, yeah. I was talking about Vampire Boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's just some guard. Yeah. As I said, the, it the just doesn't look like he's got them in now. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe the rental was on. They had to go back. <laughs> Yeah, they're there, I'm just not as pronounced as before. No, he hasn't. Paul and the smoker's toothpaste. But there's only two of them left, right? So we think. Like, is Blondie gone? Oh, there's only eight minutes left. Well, Ice-T, if you're stupid enough to give somebody else a loaded gun after you fucked everybody else over, for fucking you. Yeah. I'll just keep talking here. Getting slow. You you're slow. You're dead. You're getting slow. You don't have to worry about getting any slower. Or you're about to get as slow as you're ever gonna get. Sun's going down, Chief. Yeah. Uh, bear pops back up and shoots him in the head. Aha. Piece of shit. <laughs> na, 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 na. First bit of blood we've seen in the entire show. Yeah, other than uh, the one chick's arm. Yeah, well, yeah. In the corner of Ann Archer wannabe's mouth. I want to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your gun. Okay, well, uh, you asked. So nice he's shit. trying to wrestle it out of turn. Why the hell would you give me your gun? You're an idiot. Oh, she's my little girl now. Even that shot, buddy. A couple days work. Had an hour. Hey, did you ever watch um, uh, Cold Sweat? Yeah. What do you think? It's great. Fuck, I love that. Uh, blood's bumping my belly. I got about one hour. crime thriller
Uh, everyone, when you shoot them, you may not know this, but everybody bleeds out of the mouth once you shoot them. But regardless if it hits your, gets your lung or not. Boom. Boat rides, boat rides for all of you. Melvin's done a couple fade outs when the guy's getting shot in the face before. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't really get shot. Look at that's that. how Tom what Tom Matthews know? dies in uh, top, down Chris down twisted. That's how he does. Fade to white, shot in the face. Mm -hmm. Oh, I needed a new daughter. Jesus, yeah, everybody, all these yeah. killers. The government, the government repossessed my last one for cooking the all for cooking the books. Oh, took her glasses off. I would fucking love it if that little girl whipped out a gun and shot her. Money's mine. She walks, she walks away with the 10 million little girl with a gun. 10 million. Too, oh, much oh. A, too similar to the ending of Trespass where the hobo gets all the money. Yeah. No spoilers there, by the way. <laughs> Movie's 30 years old. This one's 25. Yeah. You're my new mommy now. I love it. They don't even explain how the hell she woke up from that. No, nope, it doesn't look like nobody had any money. You wake up after being shot. Ah, I must have imagined I was shot. Amnesia. Freaked me out so bad. No, I'm not all right. And there's a sniper on the roof. I've been shot. Yeah. Unless the sniper is one of those stupid people. He probably fell off the roof himself, so. Uh. Sorry, Indy. Look at all the dirty, dirty money. This will help us start our own book cooking agency. Oh, I think she was shot. She made an ah kind of sound. That's something I know a lot about. Mm-hmm. Lady. Lady. Aww. Sure. Roll card of credits. Now you have to get out of the prison. Meaner guns too, the sniper. Yeah. <laughs> Driving around, <laughs> driving around. How the fuck do you get out of here? <laughs> we can't get out. First they got in, now they have to get out. Why is the gate open? Yeah. How in the hell did you get this station? Dedicated to Mary with Stephen Friedman. Yeah, I don't think these are the original. No, maybe they are. Uh, uh, uh. And a cast of supervising sound editor. This one, oh, oh, see, they must have been cut for time to do this. Or they go side by side. That's I guess, yeah. 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 You know, you don't, you're not going to have enough time to get all the credits in there. So we're going to do this to you now. I can't believe I, they usually never do that with celebrity with the celebrities. Like, celebrity gets their own. That's usually a contractual thing that they say, no? Yeah. Ice T had, had a teeth guy, Lambert had a hair guy. There we go. Yeah. Adios. Jose Puerto. Jose Pat Prado. Yeah. Common uh, Pune collaborator, Tony Ripper. A lot of Perez Prado. Special, special thanks to the LA Sheriff's got to add. Sorry for the mess we left, guys. Yeah, mix rate TXC. Lucas Film, the sound system, Dolby Sound, filmed on Fuji Film. One of the, yeah, now that's something, yeah, everything's digital now. Yeah, back 25 years ago, not so much. Mm -hmm. 96, released in 97. And of course, this motion picture is protected under the laws of copyright. We shouldn't have been watching it on YouTube. Yep. Mean guns. All going to hell. We're all going to hell. Albert Pune. 
Perkins. Now, Meter now, Guns now, Blue too. Night, 1973 in 1080p, starring William Holden. 